good day. What we're going to show you today is just how quick, simple, and easy it is to use the case software inventory, and more specifically the software catalog, to inventory software, track licenses, and just handle everything there is with software management. So as we start off here, you can see the Case 1000 web interface, uh, just the default home page, shows a bunch of information. But like I said, what we're concerned with is how to quickly go in and add and manage software. So to do this, we're going to utilize this case, Case's inventory menu. We're going to go to this software catalog. Now the software catalog is a feature that Dell implemented in the K1000. And what they do is they, they've compiled a database of all the different software that, that Case sees, um, not just in our environment, but potentially in other environments as well. As you can see, they have discovered, which means things Case has seen in our environment, not discovered, which is the list in general of everything that Dell has compiled, and then uncatalogged if, it, if it's a piece of software it's not sure about, it doesn't know where to put it. Um, regardless, with the software catalog, as you can see, tons of software that's visible. You can see if it's installed, if it's licensed, if there's any variance between the number installed and the number of licenses. Um, you can tell if it's been recently added, how many have been recently added, or even recently removed. So as you can see, a lot of information presented in a very straightforward manner, easily accessible, very simple to use. So for this example, what we're going to do is now we're going to search for something in here. Um, let's search for Office 2013, since it's one that we actually just added. So as you can see, it comes back showing us a few different bits of info about Office 2013. What we're interested in is this one right here where we actually have licenses. This is one that we just added for our parent company, EL Financial. So if we click on this now, the software catalog gives a detailed view. So no matter a few clicks, we find what we're looking for, we get a detailed view of it, we get a nice little summary showing if it's allowed, not allowed. This feature actually will let you blacklist software, so if there's something in particular you don't want run, um, click that, and the case appliance uh, based on the case agents that are on every machine will, will basically tell those do not let the software install if you see it. Um, that's more for security though, not so much software management. Uh, anyway, we also have metered, which we've enabled for this piece of software. It tells us how frequently the software is being used, accessed, etc. Uh, we can see it's number installed, 16, licenses, 16, expired, 0. Uh, we also see some property information about publisher, platform, uh, if it's licensed, uh, what type of category the software falls under, metering if it's enabled, etc. etc. Um, what we also see here is an applications installed list. So Office 2013 installs all these sub applications and we can see it's installed on all 16 devices each time. Uh, and again metering's on but since it was only turned on today it needs more time to pick up information so we're not going to see anything there. Um, down at the bottom we'll see licenses and this will actually show us a line item of a uh, license that we have applied for this piece of software. To show you how easy it is to add a new one, all it is is literally clicking this add new license, brings us into a license asset detail. We can go ahead, add a license name, BSC test license, we'll say 10. We don't need to worry about the applied catalog software since we we're already in the software catalog and picked our software. Uh, we can choose licensing modes, unit, not specified, shareware, freeware, open source, if you want to track open source software that you use in the company, no license, site license, etc, etc. Uh, for this, we're just going to pick shareware. This demo uh, can enter in a product key, activation key if we need to, attach a unit cost to that item, and that actually allows us, uh, when we do reporting, we can report on you know, different software installed, and if we have license with a unit cost assigned to it, we can actually pull that out with the SQL report, and it gives us a total cost of ownership for that that piece of software or that license based on how many installs it sees of it.
nice little feature. We can add expiration dates as some licenses are only good for a year or two years or five years and they expire. Uh, we can pick vendors. Uh, we can say Microsoft Corporation. Purchase order number if uh, we have that from purchasing. Purchase date can be entered. License text. A lot of times there's an extra text or a little email that comes when we order license. We paste that right in. Uh, you can add custom fields uh, for use in tracking or reporting. And then again, notes. We can put BSC test license. So just a little blurb about it. You can choose a file attachment. Some Sometimes licensing comes with a little PDF document or uh, a little purchase confirmation. We can attach that in there as well, and it'll get stored as well in the case database. At that point, we just hit save. And that's it. That new license is now going to be associated with that piece of software that we pulled up in the software catalog. That's all there is to it. No fuss, no muss. A couple clicks, a few minutes, and you end up with a new software license attached to a software item in your catalog that is fully reportable on by the case reporting uh, engine. Much nicer than our old method. This one's up to date, tracks the software, tracks the installs, shows the licensing, shows the cost. Much, much nicer, much simpler than our previous track it solution, which is stale and out of date. Anyway, as you can see, in that few minutes, we were able to quickly add a piece or, or view a piece of software and potentially add a software license. Thank you.